second. Now, the reason your voice changes when you breathe in helium instead of regular air, when, you're, when you make sound in your vocal chambers, those sound waves have to travel through the air. Which one of these boxes do you think it's easier for the, the sound waves to travel through? Yeah. Air or helium? Yeah. Helium. Helium. Okay. So when you breathe in helium, your voice goes up because the sound waves are traveling faster. Because they can get through this much faster. There's less mass. Alright? Let's, let's, let's test this. Hey, what a <laughs> Now it's helium inside my mouth. <laughs> My lungs have been filled up with helium, so as my the sounds come out through my vocal chambers, it sounds much, much different compared to regular air. Because helium, the sound waves can travel much faster out my vocal chambers. If you listen, my voice is coming back to normal slowly, because helium has a very low density. So the helium gas is escaping out of my lungs, and regular air is coming back in. Now just to be safe, I'll take a deep breath. I'll blow it all out. And I'll breathe regular air back in. And now, now my voice sounds back to normal. What we're going to do next, instead of breathing in helium, a gas that's six times less than in this tank, I've got a gas called sulfur hexafluoride. It's six times more dense. That's an excellent question. I'm glad you asked that. Sulfur hexafluoride. It sounds like something that would kill any, anything in the room if we let some of the gas out. It's actually very similar to helium in that it doesn't react with anything. So, you're gonna breathe so if I breathe it in, when I breathe it out, it's just going to come right back out of me. It's not going to react. It's not going to go into my blood. Now, let's make a prediction. Okay? Let's make a prediction. Helium changed my voice. What do you think sulfur hexafluoride will do to my voice? Make it deeper. Make it deeper. Make it deeper. Right? Because it's more dense. We have a deep voice. It'd be a lot easier. Okay. It'd be a lot easier. Don't want to be so dumb. All right. Now, this gas is very, very dense. You can see it up here. You can see the reason it's dense. Because each one of the molecules is much, much heavier, much bigger than the regular air molecules. Now, if you feel this balloon, it almost feels like it's filled up with water. It's got a lot of mass to it. It's much different from a normal balloon of just air or especially a helium balloon. And this would drop really quickly. I'm not going to let go of it. But it would drop very quickly to the ground. Now, I'm going to exhale the air out of my lungs and then fill them up with this gas. But what, this one's very important. Uh, you keep from laughing until we finish. Because if everyone laughs right away, we're not going to be able to hear what, what's inside this. I'm only going to do this one time. You don't sound the same because instead of having normal air molecules inside of your lungs, I've now filled up my lungs with a gas called sulfur hexafluoride. It makes it very, very different. Thank you. <laughs> The sound waves had to try to pass through the sulfur hexafluoride gas. They had, had to go much slower because sulfur hexafluoride is much more dense than helium or even air. Because it's a much more dense gas, it actually stays in my lungs. Instead of exiting out like helium does, it kind of sits down in there, almost like I filled up my lungs with water. Now, I was starting to get kind of lightheaded there, so I had to be very careful to exhale the air right out, uh, the gas out very quickly and bring fresh air back in. Because if I didn't, the sulfur hexafluoride would actually just sit, and I, would, I wouldn't have any oxygen because it's filled up with this instead of regular air. <laughs> Instead of normal air inside of my lungs and inside of my vocal chambers, I've got a very, very dense air called sulfur hexafluoride. It's kind of like the opposite of helium. <laughs>
Now, my voice sounds very, very different because I have helium inside of my lungs and helium coming out through my vocal chamber. Now, I'm already feeling a little lightheaded because I've eliminated all of the oxygen out of my lungs and I've replaced it with all helium. You say you were going different when I brought in sickle hexaphoria because now I have sickle in my leg instead of regular air inside of my leg. It makes it very, very different. Thank you. You're not going to die. <laughs> you guys think you want helium inside. Now I've got helium atoms floating around in my vocal chamber. And it sounds much, much different. I have sulfur hexafluoride gas inside my lungs. When the, whole, when the sound waves move through this gas, my voice sounds very different. Alright, so it makes a very big difference when you have helium inside your vocal chambers as opposed to regular air. I'm gonna help myself. <laughs> I teach eighth grade science.